hello good day viewers you are welcome once again to my channel in today's tutorial we are going to learn how to provide a solution to this indices question on the board if today is your first time of watching please kindly subscribe to my youtube channel and also follow my facebook page at shabes online tutorial so the question on the board say 3 to the power of y plus 2 minus 3 to the power of y is equal to 24 i'm asked to look for the value of y so solution so the question is 3 to the power of y plus 2 minus 3 to the power of y is equal to 24. This first term, remember the law of indices that say where you have s to the power of 2 multiplied by s to the power of 3. This can also be evaluated according to the law of indices as s. Since the base are equal, then we are going to add the power 2 plus 3. So we are going to apply that law to this first term. So, this can also be written as 2 to the power of y multiplied by 2 to the power of 2. If you evaluate this, you are going to get this according to the law of indices. Then minus 3 to the power of y equal to 24. Since we have 3 to the power of y here, 3 to the power of y here, so we, are, we can say let m represent 3 to the power of y. So we can keep this one aside. So anyway, we see 3 to the power of y, we are going to represent it by m. So the first one half 3 to the power of y, which is m multiplied by 3 to the power of 2 minus, three, instead of 3 to the power of y, we are going to represent it as m. Minus m is equal to 24. So m now multiplied by 3 to the power of 2 is 9 minus m, which is equal to 24. So the m multiplied by 9, I'll have 9m minus m, which is equal to 24. And 9m minus m, it will give me 8m equal to 24. So to get the value of m here, we have 8m 8, 8 is equal to 24. To get the value of m, we are going to divide both sides by the coefficient of m, which is 8. 8. So that this can go with this. So my m now will be equal to 24 divided by 8 is 3. And remember, we are not, the question, the question asks us to find the value of y, not m. And initially, we say let our m represent 3 to the power of a y. So we are going to, initially we have m equal to 3 to the power of a y. So anywhere we see m now, we're going to represent it by 3 to the power of y. So this m now can be written as 3 to the power of y, which is equal to 3. And if you get this such equation, you know, 3 to the power of y, this 3 can also be written as 3 to the power of 1, because 3 multiplied by 1 is still 3. So remember, if you have any indicial equation and the base is equal, we can equate the power and cancel the base. So my y now will be equal to 1. Therefore, in this equation, our the value of y is equal to 1. Please do share this video. Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me on Facebook at